the only reason it would be good for me to see would be just things like detailed mechanics. But it would be great to see as um, an audience. Like, come on, Ms. Lad, show me. You know, it's like. And if, but if it makes me laugh, that's going to be very empowering to myself. It's almost like patting yourself on the back, in a way. Recognising your own art for yourself. It's, con it's constantly giving. And the only thing I appreciate receiving is that the audience really enjoyed it. And that is the reward. So the extra bonus to actually watch it in a comfort room with some popcorn. It came to me one time about doing puppeteering. I didn't really see a puppet show or read books, it just came to me this alternative performance. And what I really loved was the whole idea of the traditional showmanship. I feel almost quite alienated from the rest of society. And in the, the puppet show, kind of, it's a bridge. Everyday folk. I really had this urge. So I just knew that performance somehow sort of brings me alive. I fit into the world somehow. Oh, Inspector, I'm getting nervous. Don't be nervous. Just follow me and be careful. Oh, which way do you go? This way. The, the booth is like going behind the screen. It's like that privacy so that you can do your work without interference. It's almost like going into a vehicle or something like that. So you work the controls. It lit this whole mystery of like I mean when the kids all pile around the back, they wanna they really they just they just so wanna know. And they they won't say no, nothing. They're clawing at the curtain trying to get in. You know. But I make I make sure the puppets are all away. There's no way they're gonna see anything. And so when they do by the time they do look in, in the booth there's nothing in there. And I step out with a suitcase and they go, <laughs> what you know. I started off I had these characters. So you've got your uh, you've got your friends and your costumes. Like great. You can you can almost see the way the story could go with the characters. What I did was I start making the scenery, and and as I was making the scenery, the, the story was coming through as well. Oh. oh look, it's the moon. It's coming up. The... Oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right from the beginning, yeah, I had this idea of putting trust in in a natural flow of things, and not and um, not having control over any of it at all. And just helping it along. Just putting the trust in the right time and the right people. It all began because I met Vlad and he was building the characters. He was making the, the puppets. My favorite character is gonna be Horace. Look into my watch and what do you see? I see, I see. I don't know what to see. You will feel sleepy. He just fascinates you. I think it's great. I like the idea that he hypnotises everyone. I'd seen Punch and Judy as a youngster, and I like the idea of doing something on a puppetry basis. It became clear that it was quite a big job. The once the, the puppets, you'd have to have a theatre and set that up as a one person. It's quite a mammoth job. So I jumped in and thought, yes, I'll, I'll jump in to help build the theatre every time we go out and perform. My name is Bill Mortality. <laughs> what inspires me? Well, it was a lot of things from Tim Burton films, Fritz Lane. So then you have this underlining of like darkness and then you can put light into it. Run along, come on. Yes, come on. 
jump. Well, if it was the other way around, it was all very light. Um, I'd find that you couldn't put much depth into it. I mean, even just sitting here and seeing the booth with the trees around us in the sky, there's something kind of real on that level to me. Seems to work. Oh, I'll be back in a minute. I'm, I'm just looking at the, the hand movements and uh, and the angles and stuff like this and um, see that's that's all I that's all I see um, I mean they're they're sort of here I'm very close to them like it, it's like when you're playing a piano you're just looking at the keys and um, and then when you come to turn the music, and it's just like when I change the puppets, you take your eye off the key just for a moment. But it's, I don't even see the stage or anything, it's just, just on the puppets. Are you nervous? It's, it's going to be quite odd. It's like uh, when you see photographs of yourself, and you're just hoping <laughs> that there's going to be a good angle. But what I'm, I'm hoping that, uh, but the way I've always imagined the way the puppets come across, that what I've always imagined, I'm hoping that's going to be what I see, that they're clear, and the background scenery has always been clear, and um, I'm just seeing, like, I hope the movement has, goes well, really I'm just looking at it as a technical side of it more than else but if it makes me laugh then um, we definitely got something <laughs> oh I'll change my mind now I don't want to watch it <laughs> are you serious no Why do you want to leave? Because the rat is running everybody and is creating fear in the town and people are not socialising very well. I'm not afraid of no rat. Uh, you know, it can... Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, get back. My name is Bill Mortality. And I'm the wise man of the town. And my friend is the rat. Is that better? <laughs> no, of course. That's better. I can see now. Right, like got it. Oh, Inspector, I'm getting lost in the house. And I think you should have a little rest. Oh, all right. Look into my watch, and what do you see? I see. I see. I don't know where to see. You will feel sleepy. Back home to the town. <laughs> well, I'll be back in a minute. No, no, we're changing the scene. Thanks for coming. You've been really great. Harry, come here, Harry. Oh. Come here! Oh. Yes, thanks for coming. We don't usually do two shows, but we enjoyed doing the second show. Yes, we did. We hope to see you again soon. I saw that um, I thought the inspector was just like it he definitely earned himself an Oscar there <laughs> for that performance and Miss Lily definitely needs her hair uh, fringe cutting 
Oh my hair is my hair is all messed up. But I just thought, um, yeah, it was so funny how it was just like I just saw how scatty the whole thing was, and that's what's so funny about it the scattiness. It's not perfect, and that's what I like about it. This, you know, I've seen some perfect shows, and it almost can be too clinical, you know. Now look into my watch, and you'll see how innocent I am. No, I will reflect the watch into my magic magnifying glass and he will hypnotize him. and he will hypnotize himself the inspector was talking to the audience to one side hanging over one side and um, yeah you really sense that he's, he's come out of the frame okay look into my watch yes yes look into my watch yes come on look into my watch and and uh, or oh, I'm seeing reflections. I, I am feeling sleepy. Oh, but I remember when that happened, and I was so pleased um, that they did that. Um, yeah, I remember. And when I saw that, I just thought, oh, where Horace is just like kind of like looking, <laughs> and the inspectors just get, and it's just like you see these two different entities, and that is yeah, I like that loads. Mm. But in Spectre, he's, he's got such lack of patience in a way. I mean, I really noticed that. And it's like he's definitely can't wait for his retirement. <laughs> it, it just, it's just like he's just had enough. You really can feel it in his voice, you know. He's got this kind of anger. But he makes me laugh. He's really made me laugh, in Spectre. I think it's because of this frustration and anger. Yeah. And I didn't realise that I never realised that he was like that. Well, it's hard work being an inspector, but someone's got to do it. The job. Uh, what I was impressed with was uh, how clear the scenery really was. I mean, that's one thing I never experienced with the puppets. You know, so when they describe the town and stuff, you know that's all behind us but when you see what the viewers can see oh there is a town there you know and it's like so that was a very pleased with because i fell off the stage once you know oh no yes but that doesn't happen anymore no no I, well, no you see i no i just pretended then <laughs> when i when I first started ever, I was a bit concerned of, you know, would they, um, how would they deal with the wrong kind of heckling, you know, um, rudeness, or um, uh, would they be kind of, how would they deal with it? But the, f the fact that this, uh, this little gang of them, they sort of all look after each other, and I like the way that one will call up the other for support like at the end there's Miranda saying goodbye so she'll call up Harry well you've got to be careful you see because you've got to you've got to be kind really yes you can't be vicious and you can't you can't be spiteful you've got to be very friendly it's only play, you see. Okay. Yes, look into my watch. Are you feeling sleepy? It's time to go home to bed. Yes, it's time. Oh, yes, it's time to get sleepy in your bed. Good night, good night. <laughs> I'd really want to um, uh, kind of. I can see how it is when the children start ad living with the puppets. That I really would want to as well to get a, um, to add something into it. Wake up after three. Wake up, Miss Lily. One, two, three. Wake up. Miss Lily! 
I just thought it was a good reason for the kids just to let, let out of this holler. And on another level, we see it's all quiet, and then when the audience react very loud, uh, it puts them in another place in themselves. So it, it freshens up almost. Have a good stick. <laughs> yes, and a good hat. And and be brave. And um, let me see. You see, I was in the fourteen eighteen war, and and we learned a lot in the trenches. And. It was all about keep your chin up and being brave. Yeah, I liked it loads. I liked the presentation of it. You know, the, the costumes, the look, the colour. It was good for the eye. It was like looking at a, a painting, a moving painting. And I love the characters. They're all, uh, all, all amusing. By doing this, I've realised that I can bring all different sides of myself out. But at the same time, I can be detached from it. So I'm going to end up with the meat and puppets. Which is true, I mean, the things they come out with, I, think, oh, well, I don't know where they got that from. And that's, that's um, what I really find fascinating. And I guess you find that in when you start projecting from within and out, you can surprise yourself. You know, what is revealed to yourself. You know. Do you know what? I've got a strange feeling that these are all part of 